Hey everyone, this is Grill, and uh, showing you how to subnet. Um, I am currently a Cisco student, and uh, I've been a student uh, with Cisco for uh, a couple of years now. Um, and over those years, I have um, found a way how to easily uh, subnet an IP address and to help you prepare for. Uh, any of your CCNA or any of your Cisco exams. Um, so I hope uh, this tor tutorial will help you out. Um, for me, I think it's it's a very easy way to to understand and uh, in, in a fast way and how to subnet. Um, really, the only math that uh, we'll be using here for my way is just basic uh, adding and some subtraction. Um, but it, overall, it, it's a fairly easy uh, way of doing it. And um, whenever I'm given a question on how to subnet or need to subnet, find a certain amount of hosts or networks, um, it's really easy. Uh, so I hope uh, this tutorial will help you out and uh, increase your knowledge of subnetting uh, IPv4 IP addresses. So to begin. Um, we're going to start off by uh, using a little table that I use that uh, really makes the process of subnetting a lot easier. Um, what I do is uh, I always draw this out or write it out and uh, let me increase. So I begin by drawing out or writing out or making um, eight dots. This represents eight bits in IP address. Um, and for this tutorial, you'll need to know a little bit about IP addressing and uh, what makes up an IP address. So I look at it as uh, we have our IP address. Out real quick. We have four octets of eight bits, and um, usually I am just looking at this one right here. So the last eight bits of uh, of the IP address. Um, this also works for uh, you know for class B and class uh, class A. Um, it, it, it works for, for all of them, but for this, uh, just be drawing out these, these eight bits. So after you do that, um, I put over above uh, the bits um, their value in binary. So as we know, binary. Write this out. So th this is what binary is, and if we wanted to, you know, just example one one zero. There we go. We got some binary. Um, so we do that. Now this is our value for, for each bit, so if we say first two bits we use that, we would add 128 plus 64. Um, but for now, I'm just going to keep moving on. And below that, I draw out uh, the network, network and host. Now you may be wondering, you know, what do you mean network and host? Well, what this means is if I have Say if I had 128 bit on, that would give me two possible networks, 256 hosts. If I decided to, uh, you know, leave eight bits for hosts, but let me finish writing this out. So 
two, two, four, eight. You'll see how the it's uh, almost the same as our bit value. Uh, that's because each bit has two options, one or zero. 192. For this example, this this is what we're going to be using. Have the address 192.168.1.0, and our subnet mask is doing a slash notation 24. Now we need to subnet this um, IP address so we can have. Uh, let's see, we'll have four networks of, let's say, um, say we'll need uh, 25 hosts. Or actually, we'll make this uh, we'll need six networks. And uh, 25 hosts. So your boss comes in and says, this IP address we have we need to subnet this. And so you can reply back to them, no problem. So we're going to be, this is a class C address, and we're going to be subnetting it to meet the, our requirements. So uh, the part of our IP address that we cannot touch is 192.168.1. This is our network portion, which is, tells us by our subnet mask. Our subnet mask is uh, 255. Oops. It's 255. Let me just write out real quick for you. 255, 255, 255.0. Now, we know what a subnet mask is. We know what it tells us. It tells us what portion of our IP address is the network portion and what portion of it is our host portion. So by looking at this, I can see, okay, we have one network that will provide us with 256 hosts but we have to use the rule 2 minus n um, because with older equipment you can't use first IP address which it would be dot zero our network address and we can't use dot 255 because that would be um, our broadcast address so we use n minus 2 and that would give us actually 254 usable uh, host IP address but that's what we you know we can't use that or that's not what our boss wants he wants six networks and 25 hosts for each network um, so you know what do we do next well it's actually quite simple what we do 